Hello everybody and welcome back to part 8 of this Fallout New Vegas walkthrough. So last time we just finished off, I guess you could say got sidetracked by the king over here in Freeside. I was going to go straight to the strip, but I saw the king, uh, the kings, and Silver Rush, and I kind of wanted to do uh, the kings. So I did some missions for them, cleared up the dispute with NCR. Submit now we're going to head straight into the strip. Or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. So I have the... Well, I guess... Thank you, sir. What do you call you it? You may proceed. Fabricated passport from uh, Mick and Ralph's. You can talk to... Who was it? I think Ralph was it that uh had the fabrication side business. And it was, oh, had it, partner. You really? Come for a piece, Victor. You? Welcome to New Vegas. Yeah. So, Ralph had the fabrication uh, passport fabrication, and Mick had the special guns. So, okay, Victor, what's what's he got? What are you doing here? Consider me your personal welcome wagon. Now, hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Why is a robot passing on his invitation? Well, now, it was Mr. House that made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dawdle. He'll be waiting. That's it. Keep moving. So wait, did he just go back to a regular robot face? Okay, well, you gave me the message, but Victor's here. Okay, so this is this dude's just playing me. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you. Yeah, again. they're just playing me. Boss is waiting for you upstairs. So get a move on. Thank you, Victor. I, I guess. A friend. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. I go where I please. No, I'll head up by myself. Come back soon now. Can I, uh... Do you have anything in your inventory that I gave you? Arc. You still have the sporks for some reason. I don't know why that is. Lucky 38. The one like the, uh, that's shaped like a roulette spinner. Oh, you have to have some stuff to loot or steal. I'm going to loot around here real quick. I know y'all have something. Is there any cash registers? What's up here? Oh, golden gloves. I'll take those. I'll take all your alcohol, too. Boxing times, too. Yeah, why not? Using up some weight, but sure. I'll take everything. Well, let me look at those golden gloves. They're probably an unarmed weapon. So you're in here, too. Okay, that's great. Golden gloves. Inflicts fatigue damage. Okay. Where to, partner? I guess penthouse is the only option. Penthouse floor. Who are you? Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Uh, I didn't even see a snow globe collection, but I'll ask that because I have two of them. Who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. What can you tell me about Mr. Oh, about New Vegas? Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? Tell me about the three families. They're just new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. 
The Americans especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Tell me about the casinos. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. And the Lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Tell me about the other attractions. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here, but why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Talk about Anything something else. you like, sugar? Can you tell me about Mr. House? Why, sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Sounds like you're pretty fond of him. Well, of course I am, silly. Okay. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes I mean, that used to live here? single-handedly, he probably sent y'all well, out. he single-handedly yeah, sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. Figured. Didn't realize robots could have such strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. So you're a copy of a dead woman. What exactly do you do for Mr. House? Mr. House has a lot of needs, Sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. I don't really, I really don't want to think about that, yeah. Then maybe you shouldn't pry into a lady's particulars, hmm? Talk about Anything something else. Anything you like, sugar? Hey, let me ask about the snow globe collection. Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. Well, I have a couple In of them. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. Plus, there's one in the... Uh, in the Lucky 38. That's you good. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. Is that 4,000 per? I'll with the rest of the collection. Because I'll do some research and find the rest of them. Or is that... Did that give him both of them? I think that gave him both of them. Okay, let me go talk to Mr. House. Okay. Oh, big, big giant screen. Welcome to the Vegas Strip. Well, I'll find some more uh, snow globes. I'll do some research. 4,000 caps per, that's a lot. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally and, I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? Never seen anything like this place. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. Why the VIP treatment? I'm just a courier. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Let's get down to business, then. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. I'd like to ask some questions. What did you wish to know? What is the Platinum Chip? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. 
The more I know about the chip, the easier I can find it. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. If the chip's so valuable, why use a single courier to transport it? You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. Yeah, but if you have... I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. If you sent enough robots, though, nobody was going to attack it. Frontal assaults on casinos, not good for Fair business. Fair enough. In any case, Benny would see it coming, and all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. I have a right to know more. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it, and I paid for it, dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of U.S. dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. What else did you want to know? My only concern is the recovery of the platinum chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Oh my god. Wish I raised barter. Raise your price or or uh, your chip out of luck. A thousand caps, I accept your terms. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? I'll return when I have the chip. Until then. Well, if there's... Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends, too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. I actually want to stay here. I want to see if the snow globe is probably in here. Might be. That's back to Mr. House. Yes, okay. He said it's in the Lucky 38 somewhere, so... Let's search around here. That's all pre-war money and a bedroom. I'll find it eventually. If it's not up here, it's probably uh, down on the ground floor. Nothing here. Back to Mr. House. Okay. So it's either in the penthouse or on the ground floor. I'm gonna find it before I leave. Take Where me to, to the Take me to the Oh. Oh wait. Let's go to the cocktail lounge. That's probably where it'd be. Search around the outer layer. Or inner layer first. Work my way in. Or out. Okay.
Oh, some magazines. Take those. Need to keep an eye out here. Don't want to miss it up. Have I done a full loop yet? I don't see anything in here, so let's go. Let's go to the presidential suite. That's my new place. Oh, you can upgrade the suite. That is. I mean, I'll take the. Both weapon trunks. And. Yeah, why not? I'll buy a couple things here. I don't need the fridge. I don't care about that. Guest wardrobe. At, I mean. Sure, why not? Buy those. Do I have to come back? Where to, partner? Go down to the casino. Casino floor. Maybe this uh, snow globe is down here somewhere. I'll find it. Even if I have to look it up. Actually, that's probably exactly what I'll do. I will be right back. I'm going to look up where this uh, snow globe is. Might be near it, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Looked it up. It's actually in the cocktail lounge. It says behind one of the registers. So I definitely missed it. Have a nice day. Where to, partner? Cocktail lounge. Behind one of these registers, it says. There it is. Okay, well, I'm, I'll am i probably do uh, a little research between between some of these parts to find the rest of them. Let's go penthouse. Sell this to, what's her name? Jane. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. Okay. Where to, partner? Back to the presidential suite. I roll her suite. Oh, so this is my, uh, nice office. Oh, this is two. So what do I want? I'm gonna put away the golden gloves. And the holy frag grenades. Let me, uh, do I have a wardrobe? Yeah, it does say. Because I want to, I want to keep my Vault 21 jumpsuit. And the Jailhouse Rocker. Just some of the simple stuff. But do I have anything else worth, like, not holding on to? I don't think so. So what's my main quest now? Confront Benny at the Tops Casino. Why not? Let's go. Where to, partner? Round floor. Or casino. Casino floor. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore that because I don't really care. Follow me. Aww, just so I know more y'all are gonna come talk to me. Wow, that's crazy. I thought nobody has ever been inside that place. Are y'all all that just like amazed somebody went to the Lucky Thirty Eight? Check that out. He just left the Lucky Thirty Eight. 
Damn, and he looks good to me too. Okay, let's go New Vegas Strip. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had to let her out. What? I <laughs> okay, robots, that was pretty good. Little policeman faces. Sure, they still rough you up. Okay. Well, let me check the message from Ambassador Crocker. I don't think I've committed any crimes against y'all. Yeah, I don't I don't really care. So, Lucky 38, confront Benny. Hey, hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm going to have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Keep hold out weapons. Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I, I like it. I think the only holdout weapon I Don't have is worry, the... Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Nah. Have a good time, baby. So... So the only holdout weapon I have is the, like, the 22 LR, right? I thought so. So where's Benny at? If I can speech my way through this, this would be awesome. No sudden moves around the boss. What in the goddamn? Oh, it didn't Let's see me alive. Let's keep in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. The guy everyone saw go in the Lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. Seems you need to work on your uh, mark marksmanship. I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or you just thick-skulled. Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night, knowing you didn't die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere that's more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. I mean, I'll hear you out. What'd you have in mind? To start... I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions um, you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. I don't think... If that's what it takes to win your trust, yeah. that's what it takes. Follow I'm not me. going up there by myself. Got that's it. how I die. Don't get too close to Mr. Benny. I want to I find out why you're going after me and what's on the chip. That Mr. House paid a lot of money for. But I'm also not going to fall for a blatant trick. Benny. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask. How is it that you're still living? A, secure, uh, a Securitron dug me up and a dock in Good Springs did the rest. House was on to me from word go? I thought I was being so clever. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? Seems you dropped something in Boulder City. To think I deemed that flint box my lucky charm. Oh, the irony. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? I'm wondering why I shouldn't just kill you. Or, yeah, I've got a question, a bunch of them. You got questions, I got answers. First things first, tell me about the platinum chip. It's the house edge, baby. Literally. It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds in his favor. What does the chip do? It has something to do with the Securitrons. I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power, gives them heft. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. How's the chip work? It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer, I've found. Must require special hardware. Let's talk about something else. 
How else can I clue you in? Help me understand this scheme of yours. Broad strokes, change in management. The Securitrons are where it's at. I need a way to control them and a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row, Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesar's Legion, it won't matter. What makes you think you can succeed? Baby, the odds may look long, but that's just because we ain't done rigging them. I won't toss the dice until we are. I've gleaned a lot working with Mr. House. He was a good cat to swing with. I still got a lot to learn, but it's, it's coming together. And you're willing to commit murder to make this happen? Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you is rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. That, that's a fair point. Yeah, that's... I see your point. It's a game, and games have winners and losers. I prefer the former. How about you? Talk about something else. Something else you wanted to know? What are you offering? You help me, and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, Dig. With enough robot muscle to back it up. You'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? See, here's the thing. So if you can take over New Vegas, and you are mildly inept, seeing as I can actually kill people, why can't I take over New Vegas? I think I might take over New Vegas myself if that's an option. So, let's find out. Like I trust you, no thanks. I know, you figured me for a creep. It's your prerogative. If you change your mind, come find me on the casino floor. In the meantime, the presidential is yours whenever you want it. Adios. Hey, uh, before you leave real quick. Something else you wanted to know? Hey, uh, let me Baby, let me you're see the this. Boss. All you gotta do is whistle. Before you. In the meantime, enjoy the. I'm gonna skip through this dialogue. Before you walk away, let me see what this quest is. Let me make a save right here. Cause I could probably just lock to lock pick this before he leaves. We well, got a lot of stuff. Some machine gun, grenades, grenade rifle. Hey Benny. I'm not, I'm going to be back for you. Over here. Come on. Okay, yeah. Well, y'all are all gonna die. You like that? Can you reload, please? I knew this was gonna happen. Benny Sweet Key. Y'all are giving me all. Ooh, Presidential Sweet Key. I figured this was gonna happen, so. I'll take more keys. Straight razor, why not? I'll take bottle caps. Well, we're gonna find out uh, what's going on here. The cleaners will knock twice. Make sure they're thorough. I'm coming for you, Benny. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm coming for you. Be sure of that. That's wine. Is there anything else to loot around here? What way is the best way out of here? 
This ain't nothing. Okay. There must be something else around here. There's a lot of doors around here. What in the world? Why is there 70,000 doors? Okay. Is that all there is in this area? Search Benny's suite. Is Benny on the bottom floor now? Where is he at? Because I'll take him out. Might be him right there. That kind of looks like Benny. I don't think that's him. I think those are just the guys that work this floor. We're going to find out I soon. This crazy slang. Thirteenth floor. So where is this sweet room at? Oh, if I can lockpick. I still haven't broken the lockpick. I don't want to... I don't want to break that record. Do these lead to anything? Or is it just... Because I don't really feel like sneaking. If I'm going in, I'm going in. Is this his suite? I don't think this is his suite. I think it'd require a locked door. Anything around here? Why do I always check the already empty ones? Oh. Yes, man. Okay. Hey! Hi there! Good to meet you. What can I do for you today? What are you doing here? Good question! My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Yes Man, what kind of name is that? It's what Benny always called me. Probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. Have you seen... Oh, okay, wait. Benny stole a platinum chip from me. Do you know what it's for? Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network, the Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! What's Benny planning to do with the, with the chip? Oh, he wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then I just do what Benny tells me. Easy peasy! You are, uh, very forthcoming. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. Yeah. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Yep. Uh, what if I wanted to take over New Vegas instead of Benny? Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. Have you seen Benny? Sure. He came through here in a big hurry. Didn't even stop to say hello. I think he went down his secret escape elevator out in the hall. So what are the details of the plan? Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. Say Mr. House was going to suffer an accident. How would that happen? 
It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. I've been inside the Lucky 38. You have? Wow, that's amazing. You can murder Mr. House whenever you want. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the Platinum Chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. Benny seems to run off with the Platinum Chip. No kidding, he was running fast. He better pace himself. He has to run all the way to Fortification Hill. There's an underground facility there that might have the special hardware required to use the data on the platinum chip. It's too bad Caesar's Legion built its camp right above it. Talk about inconvenience. Yeah, that, that's pretty bad. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. Once I get the platinum chip, what then? I'd take it straight to Mr. House if I were you. He'll think you're helping him out. Then, when he's not looking, kerpow! That's a good plan. The big question is whether to give him the chip before you do him in. He's the one who'll know exactly what to do with it after all. He might upgrade his defensive capabilities right away, or even unlock new ones. But then those defensive upgrades might make it harder for you to finish him off. Hard to say. It's up to you. Let me know when it's done, and I'll roll over to the Lucky 38. If I'm right about the chip... I should be able to install myself on House's mainframe. This is going to be great. I'm going to help you accomplish so much, whether I want to or not. Should I ask these tribes if they'll support in an independent Vegas? Oh, no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know... Shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty, or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. Which tribe should I get to know? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this strip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the Strip, too. Like the Boomers, the Great Cons, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Let's talk about the tribes I should get to know. Of course, ask away. What do you know about the Boomers? They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion, or NCR though, well, that'd be neat, wouldn't it? I'll get back to you about them. Take all the time you need. Anything else I can help with? Tell me what you know about the Great Cons. The Cons are just... They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. They've been kicked around a lot, but no one's finished them off. Not yet, anyway. How have the cons been kicked around? They were one of the tribes the three families pushed out of Vegas. A whole bunch got killed. So they settled at Bitter Springs, but they kept being so obnoxious, the NCR had to kill a whole bunch more of them. So then, they settled at Red Rock Canyon. There's just no getting rid of them. I need to take some more time with the cons. You set the pace. I'm going to explore Anything all these bases. I can help with? Where should I look for the Brotherhood of Steel? Some of Mr. House's dad has said that he'd lost a bunch of Securitron scouts near Hidden Valley. Telemetry showed that they'd been attacked with energy weapons. House was pretty sure it was the Brotherhood. There must be a bunch of them holed up there. Not a good place for a robot to visit. What do you know about the Brotherhood? They go around in big suits of power armor, and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, 
not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself with robots. I'm not ready to decide on that one. No rush. Take your time. Anything else I can help with? I think the Omeritas, are those the ones in the Gamora? Because I'm not checking that place out. From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Yeah, Benny totally. didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. I bet they're just great people. Don't hurry on my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. Anything else I can help with? What do you know about the Omeritas? Hmm. I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Let's talk about something you else. Bet. How did Benny reprogram a, a Securitron? Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. Oh, is so somebody from the old Mormon fort? He said something about a bunker at the fort. Right. It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else? Maybe a giant robot or something. I'll go check it out. Neat. Let me know what you find out. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Hope to see you I'm going to check out all these places. Oh, and I leveled up. So I got speech at 60. I think I need lockpick up to 75. I probably need to get science quite a bit up. Should I? Or do I want to go straight to speech again? I'll do that for now. What mess? What messes? Uh, perks do I want to take? I can take another level, but I don't see the point in that. I can get some pretty good perks. I like quick draw, but I normally have my weapons out before I get into a fight, so... I'm going to take another uh, intense training. Christmas at 8. Let me up. Intelligence. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for now. So I need to come back to him at some point. Is there a back way out of here? Not an opening door? What the heck? Hmm. None of these doors work? What the heck? So that was uh, his elevator, I'm guessing. Okay, let me get my way out of here. You're not very stealthy, Veronica. But I am eventually going to check out the Brotherhood of Steel, so it might be handy to have you around. Let's get out of here and get get my guns. I dig this crazy slam. How do I get to Fortification Hill? Wait, is this even the exit? Where am I going? Okay, I need to somehow find my way to the Legion if I want to get that Platinum chip. 
I'm obviously going to try to take over New Vegas by myself. So. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Your crimes against the Legion, including the death of the fearless Wulpes and Kulta, are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy again. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the Strip, and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. Tell Kaisar I accept his invitation. Seek this Kaisar is very by handy. way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The cursor Lucullus will be waiting. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. I needed some way to get to Fortification Hill. So what are all my quests? Because I know I got a bunch for Make Contact Brotherhood of Steel, White Glove Society, Observe the Omeritas, Red Rock Canyon, and Contact with the Boomers. Well, optional. I kind of have to do that. I'm going to disable. You and what army? Okay, I think this is where I'm going to end it for this part. Next time, I'm actually going to take a little detour from these missions. I'm probably going to start the first uh, DLC, which I think... I don't know what, what's going to be the starter. Dead Money or uh, Old World Blues? Either way, I'm going to probably start on some of the DLCs. In Reno, I'm Frank, and in the Bonia I don't know how it'll be. I might do um, a series of DLC and then go through one of the societies you have to check out. Because I know uh, after I get to the Legion and them get the Platinum Ship, the end of the game is pretty quickly approaching. So I might do a DLC, uh, a society, check one of those guys out, Boomers, uh, White Glove Society... Uh, Omer does, and then another DLC and so on and so forth until I'm done with the societies and then I check out the uh, Legion at Fortification Hill and try to get a platinum ship from Benny and see what I need to do to take over well this place because I'm gonna take it over y'all are about to be mine pretty quickly so I think this is where I'm gonna end it I'll see you on the next part